Yeah, I'm at the OTM Fight Shop in Albuquerque where I just picked up my Sugar Rashad <laughs> Evans shirt. That's right, sweetness. You would have won that fight. <laughs> no offense to you, Rampage. You'll make a great Mr. T. I'm scared of you. <laughs> well, we're here talking about the MMA rules and teaching you girls how to break them. And in the early days of MMA, they wore geese and black belts. Well, they gave opponents too much to hold on to. Then they started shaving, going to shorts. Pretty soon, some guys started greasing up. Well, of course, it became illegal to get greased up for a professional fight. That's right. In MMA, it's illegal to be all greased up in the cage. It makes it harder for the opponent to hold on to you. Remember that, girls. That works good for us. If you're ever in a situation and some Jeepers Creepers guy makes you feel uncomfortable, trust that instinct. Make a decision to protect yourself. Most of us women carry stuff in our purse like hand creams, lotions, tanning oil. Those products can be used as lubricants. Take them out, grease up your arms, and make it harder for someone to hold on to you. Also remember, no ponytails, girls. Keep those ponytails out. You never want to give the predator something to hold on to. That's real self-defense for women, Michelle. You know what I need? Heck I yeah. need a couple women. Let me go get you some give women. Give me some ring girls, please. All right, Lou Dog. And to show us uh, these techniques on our ring girls is our instructor. Raul Parada is a black belt in jiu-jitsu and judo. And Raul, uh, show me how a, a girl that's uh, going across the dark parking lot at night, she's prepared herself, lubed up her arms. Now, here it is, a guy really comes and grabs her arm. What's she gonna do? Okay, the, the basic equation is, I have somebody that's stronger and more aggressive than me. I'm weaker, and I cannot really free myself up from a hand grab at this time. So I have to use intelligence. Intelligence is leverage, and technique overcoming great strength and aggression. I cannot be stronger than, than Louis, obviously, as much as I try because he's got a very strong grip, a very strong upper body, and more weight over me. But I can use my intelligence and use technique to overcome his greatest strength and aggression by going around his thumb strength. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my wrist. So I, so I create an opening, make it very hard for you, and then with my body weight, I just turn out. So again, he's grabbing tight, I turn in, and then I move my body and I bring my thumb in and I take it out effortlessly. Now from here, I want to escape. I want to get out of here. Escape is victory against anybody in a street fight. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get into an ego fight. Mm -hmm. If I do not find an escape right away, I can always hit you <clears throat> low, hit you in the eyes. When you flinch, I can escape. That's right. And then I much, much rather be a live chicken and a dead hero than fight somebody that's stronger than me at any time. Okay, girls, we have with us here the lovely Ryan. And the lovely Ashley. So here, here's 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 Ryan. Uh, let's sh see how if you can do this uh, in the real world. Uh, obviously, you want to keep the distance and offer them your arm to grab rather than your body. I've got your arm now. What are you going to do? That's the breeze of fish. She turned her wrist and she went around your body strap. Yeah. And now, if you can get away, get away. If not, remember your growing strikes, your eye gouges, and all the other illegal things we've taught you. Not today. I'm not wearing a cup. All right, come on in here. <laughs> This is a smaller girl, Raul, and now I've realized from my first attempt that she's a greasy. She's a third your size. And she's a third my size, but I'm going to get her this time. I'm going to hold her little greasy arm with two hands. Now what's she going to do? She's still going to go around your thumb strength, both of mm -hmm. them. She's going to grab her hand, grasp it, and then pull it out. Then she's going to strike you, and then she's going to try to get out of here and not be in front of you, since escape is, uh, is victory. So again, we're using intelligence in order to become, overcome greater strength and aggression. Oh. Not power. Pay attention to your surroundings, girls. Before you take a long walk through a dark parking lot, grease up. Take your ponytail out. Make a decision to protect yourself. That's real self-defense for women.